of the founding fathers of what is known as hip hop culture. You also influence a lot of artists. I would say the reason why a lot of us are here is because of what you've done and you influence. So, how how does it feel to see all the massive across many languages that you have influenced with your movement? Well, I love it. I give all honor to the great creator, the supreme force that we call by many names. Um, you know, that was my love to go to all these countries and, and, and be among the people and tell them that, you know, don't worry about speaking all in English. You, if you want to use some English word, that's cool. But rap in your own language, speak about your own issues. I don't care if you want to party or BS or but talk some politics or whatever, but speak in your own native tongue. Wake up your community, rap it like it's hot, and, 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 and each one, teach one, and feed one to help one. From all the, the countries you've been able to travel in Latin America, which one's been one of the countries that's been your favorite? It's hard to say what's my favorite, but my, my second home is Brazil. And, um, uh, I, I, I love what we've been doing in Brazil. I love what's been happening in Colombia and, and Argentina and all that. And, um, we just gotta unite more our South American brothers and sisters um, into loving themselves. Get up and do something for yourself in your own community. Stop saying that I wanna go to America when you already live in America. So when we in Mexico, we in America. We in Suriname and in Brazil and in, we in America. So it's not that we wanna go to the United States of America because it's so much, they think it's so much just a land of, of opportunity. No, we gotta make where we live at. All over in South America, the land of opportunity. Fight for injustice, whatever's wrong, and, and try to make things happen for the people. And your music and your message has always been of peace and unity. How does it make you feel sometimes when people use the, the word hip hop culture and they don't necessarily represent your the original concept? Like you, like what they call gangster rap. A lot of it may be hip hop because they expressing their nature, what they feel. But I feel like sometimes a lot of them don't send the right message to the youth. So how does it feel like when you see some of these artists? They're sending a bad nation using the hip hop culture name because some of them don't even have the knowledge of what it means. Well, you know, um, we never want censorship because when you just get censorship, it's not causing what they call slavery. So it's always a yin and a yang, a good and a bad, agreeable and disagreeable. I blame a lot of these program directors at radio stations. That they say, oh, it's all about guess who that. No, that's what you are pushing to the people. You program in the minds of the people. So if you're gonna talk gangster rap, where's the, the, the love part? If you're gonna talk about um, calling you using the N-word or the woman the B-word, what's the part that's talking about a goddess and a queen? So, so there's a game that's being uh, that's being tricked by a small community, which we call the Luciferians, that are in control of what you dress, what you should look like, what they should like in this style, what type of hats and clothes we might be wearing or something, and take this down, and they're making money, and everybody fighting and killing over the backs of a sneaker that would cost you three hundred dollars, which is only five or ten dollars being made by our brothers and sisters in Cambodia or Korea or something. So we got to understand that the, the, the money that we might kill over is not real money. Real money is gold and silver, and, and most of our indigenous people. We got the gold and silver, but we, we got so fucked up, we said just started giving things away and letting colonizers come in there. Just like we speak English, we speak Spanish, but that's not our language and stuff. These are the conquerors that came in and told us what right this school to say. What was you called before 1492 and stuff? Before Columbus came and sold all of you and stuff. So we got to understand that we are the indigenous people of the earth and that we part. So once we know that we are the indigenous, what do we do to keep our values, our our languages and, and, and our thoughts to each other and make things happen all over South America, all over the whole America, North, Central, and South America? Wow, that's been some jewels that you dropped right here. Like I said, we're going to have you with our show tomorrow, but we're going to definitely talk more about how we play the Black Jewel, we do the final and radio show. Honor to you, brother. And tomorrow we're gonna have a special and we're gonna 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.